Hey guys, this is Adam with TAT Express, and today I want to go over low NOx conversion fault on a Cummins. So make sure to subscribe to us if you haven't subscribed to us yet, and hit that notification bell so you know next time we release another video. Let's get right into this video. Okay, so low NOx conversion efficiency is a tough fault to find. If you've seen any of my other videos or if you watch any of my lives, you know we got a lot of questions about low NOx conversion efficiency. And as I mentioned before, guys, whenever you're troubleshooting this code, you gotta make sure you don't have anything going on with the engine before you move on to the actual after treatment system. Now, this guy finally came to us, he went to a, a few other shops before he finally found us. A lot of the technicians were going after the after treatment system right away. They didn't look for any other faults on the engine okay so he did a lot of repairs on the after treatment system he still has a problem he finally gave up on that shot comes to see us we pull up the, the DTCs which is our his inactive and active codes if faults are happening with the engine of course it's gonna create more NOx levels or higher NOx levels and you it's gonna be suspected that the one box or the after treatment system is acting up so a lot of technicians are gonna go after that after treatment system trying to find the problem before making sure that the engine is not creating excessive soot now the way that you can check this is basically as i mentioned you're pulling the, you're pulling your reports you're pulling your codes you're looking for history don't ignore inactive faults if you have faults that are more than twice or more than two times two or three times you might have a failure there so that's something that needs to be troubleshot as well so what we found is a vgt fault that was four counts including his nox we go in and we d troubleshoot the turbo we disconnect the hot pipe we disconnect or the exhaust pipe and the inlet pipe and the turbo while idling is making a real loud noise it's just you can hit you can hear the turbo just borderline ready to give up if you guys follow my videos you would know that the egr and the vgt turbo control how much nox is going out of the engine now if you have an issue with the vgt turbo or a turbo egr egr cooler any kind of those sensors being clogged up not sending the right signal to the ecm you're gonna have nox uh, excessive NOx going into the one box. So I'm gonna show you some video of the turbo running and the noise that it was making. We took the exhaust pipe off the in and the intake pipe off to see how it was sounding, making sure it wasn't making any back pressure from the actual DPS filter. And it's not, it's making a lot of noise. And as we put our hand on the front of that turbo, it's actually kicking air out. Guys, what a turbo is gonna do, it's, it's gonna suck air from the front side of the turbo and of course, exhaust on the back side, making the pressure from this part of the turbo. So when we're running this turbo, it's pushing out air on the intake side, which so with the noise that it's making is basically confirming that we're gonna have to replace this turbo. So guys, we're gonna replace this turbo. We're gonna go ahead and road test it. And this customer should be good to go. We're gonna test the rest of his system out, but we're pretty confident that the turbo is what's causing him to have high NOx. Guys, so I hope you guys learned something. Make sure to subscribe to us if you haven't subscribed to us yet and hit that notification bell so you know next time we release another video, guys. So until next time, be safe. <laughs>